Hey you, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Brian the Divine Healer here with you. Going to do your Capricorn Aquarius cusp reading. That's right. You don't necessarily have to be in a, a cusp. You can also be a, a Capricorn sun sign, Aquarius sun sign. Any placement of Capricorn Aquarius, this reading is for you. Okay? So stick around to the end. Get the message. It could be in the beginning, middle, or end. It could even be in the title. So just hang tight. And stay to the end. Anyways. With that being said, Divine Squad, my little subscribers, thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. Oh my god, people. I ate an uncomfortable amount of food. Ooh, yeah, I went out had a little, had myself a little Mexican fiesta. Man, I'm still full. I can't believe it. I had to take half that crap home. Yeah, I posted that on the community board. It's like, yeah, self-care. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to take care of yourself like that. Anyways, let's get into your reading here. Enough about me. Okay, so news. I'm going to shuffle these up here. I'll give you two cards. Those two cards... Do represent the duality of yourself. That's your yin and your yang, positive, negative, light, dark, good, bad side, right? Then after that, I will lay more cards out, tell you a story. That story will have your message. After your message, I'll give you your outcome, your verdict, your grand finale, your cherry on top. How you like that? So there's your first card of your energy now. Nine of Pentacles. Single, abundant, beautiful. You've achieved some kind of stability here, okay? Uh, tell you, I gotta loosen up the belt. <laughs> Man, that tacos hit me good. I love the refried beans, though. Ooh, boy. All right, that's your card there. Here comes your next one. Queen of Wands. Ooh, sassy pants, are you? Well, creative, beautiful, intelligent. Sassy, very sassy, right? So, looks like you want to maybe. I think you're in this this idea of finding creative ways to build your abundance here, okay? Because you have that nine of pentacles, I think you're looking to try to get to the ten of pentacles, which would be the ultimate achievement in stability right let's get the first card of your story and here it is five of swords huh Five of Swords. <laughs> Five of Swords says that you're possibly walking away from something here, right? See that guy over there walking away? He already made that one leave, so this one's here, right? So you're standing defensive, but not so much defensive. I think that really you, you're just kind of... Let me get some clarity on that card there. Makes no sense. Could be leaving a job. That's why you're a little sassy, right? You're like, I, I'm the queen. I deserve more than that, right? This is what I think. So let me get clarity card here with my Light Seer's Tarot deck. And we'll see. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, see? It was juggling this decision to walk away because you definitely are trying to build your abundance your road to success is here and this is you're walking away because you're you know i think that somebody um in your workplace or your business or whatever they were uh they were juggling you right so let's just say that's your boss right that's your boss and that's you right there and you're like you know what I'm worth more than what you're trying to offer me these two pennies I don't want I need you two cents I need I need more than that right so I think I think that definitely you're walking away because you know you're tired of being juggled 
uh, uh, at the workplace for real okay and that, that kind of helped a little bit let's keep going on with the story okay so you're definitely walking away because you have other options Yes, seven of, seven of Cups says you have other options because, like I said, your workplace was juggling you, not giving you enough coinage because of your worth. Okay? Right. Yep. So it looks like it, one of these options is going to give you that one more pentacle. See, I told you it was about money. You're on your way to go get that ten of pentacles because you got nine pentacles here. And you have one more here, nine and one in my book. And the math that I use is ten. Okay? So there you go. One of these options gives you this other pentacle. Or maybe it could be this boss saying, wait, 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 wait. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't walk away. I know that you got options, but I'll give you a raise. Let's see. Let's clarify that. Pentacles. Yeah, let's clarify that page of Pentacles here. It's a small offer, but you know what? So it could be just enough. Bah. Five of Wands. So, what I really think here in the situation is, is that you do have other options, and one of the options offers you more than what you have now with where you're at. And so that creates a little bit of conflict, a little bit of strife. So now it's like a, um, it's like a battle to keep you to stay, see? Because this kind of is like a battle, right? You're on the battlefield. And it is about money. Because there's a lot of pentacles out here. Because you're juggling options. You're either staying with this, this current position you're in now. Or you're seeking other options to give you more. And that is that five of wands. That's that strife for the conflict, right? <laughs> Emperor, how you doing, boss? Okay. So, Emperor, I think that this might kind of sound weird, but I feel that in a way, because there is strife between your current job situation, whatever, and your other options of seeking to gain more um, financial stability. I think that you might even be thinking that you want to just run your own business. Yeah. For some of y'all. Some of y'all, you might be wanting to just say, screw it, it's just too much here for all this middleman crap, and I want to, I just want to run in my own self. That's how sassy you are, right? <laughs> okay. For the others of you, this could be that just... Um, there's a new boss. So you leave this one. You walk away because they juggled your creative ideas and your own beautifulness, right? Mm-hmm. Your hard work and talent. And the other options is that a new employer... Ow, that's my toe dog. Thank you for stepping on it. Um, your other new gainful employment boss offers you more money. Go run and go check it out. She is such an instigator. I'm telling you, my, my friend, she, she likes to just bark her little ass off and then the other one runs away. Steps on my toes, knocks over the table, you know what I mean? She's a little punk. Anyways, Emperor. New boss, offering you some money. And it's conflicting. Because now you have a choice. You have a choice. Like I said, for some of those, you have a choice to, um, you know, start your own business. Others of you, the choice is to stay where you're at and deal with, you know, being juggled and kind of 
not get what you want for that ten of pentacles here or make the decision to go with a new boss that's going to give you that one more pentacle to give you that ten of pentacles right man i'm telling you my <laughs> my food was good today all right so there's the two ones that's just a choice you're going to have to make <clears throat> so whatever you're going to make whatever decision you're going to make that king of swords says like this it says you're going to definitely make a bold and very truthful decision because you're standing in your truth as this queen of wands because you know that you're creative you know that you deserve what you deserve and you want what you want Okay, so now there's like some kind of mediation here. You want them to give you what you deserve. This is what you're um, pitching. This is your proposition. This is your chance to go before um, both parties, for those that aren't starting a business, to go between your new prospective job and your old current job to say, listen, you offer me one. Okay, you weren't offering me crap, right? Present job wasn't giving you nothing or juggling you. The new job that says here, I'll give you this, right? So, with this six of pentacles, one, two, that's your current employer, that's your new employer, or vice versa. See however you want it. You're saying you give me this or you give me this. Yeah. Because one's not going to do. So, somebody offers you two pentacles, and the other one offers you three pentacles, okay? Hmm. Now, this is definitely why that five of wands is out here. So, now it's like a, it's a, not a price war, but it's, it, it's a battle for your creative, beautiful intelligentness that whatever you got going on with your job, you're good at, you know what I mean? And you're just feeling underappreciated, undervalued. So the conflict is, is between an option of a new job who is offering you something, one pentacle, this other job that you're in now wasn't offering you anything. And so now you pitch this idea and say, okay, you're going to give me this. But I want this from you. And then the current job says, I'll give you this. Okay. Pretty interesting. I've never had that before, really. You just want to even balance. And, uh, you want some give and take there. And you want justice. Okay. So you will get justice in the balance of what you deserve to what you are, um, you know, owed, we'll say. But the decision is still between the new job or the old job. You know what I mean? All right. So... Or even just say, screw it, I'm going to work for myself and keep it all for myself. That's some of y'all, right? That's how sassy you are. Okay. <clears throat> so the justice here is to accept that offer. Right. Your justice is to accept one of those offers, and it'll be uh, very, very successful. But I think that you hear some good news from this new employer. Okay, you start taking action and moving towards the new employment, the new offer, the better, bigger offer. Because mm, that Knight of Cups is looking at that Six of Wands, which is directly underneath that Emperor. This is the section I'm looking at here. Boom, 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 boom. So, your current position wasn't offering you nothing. You said I'm moving on because I got different options. They're going to give me this much. So now you're deciding, okay, which one do I want? They now offer you certain amount. Your new employment possibly offers you a certain amount. So, your justice, my friends, is to move towards, because knights are about taking action, also taking action towards um, victory, towards good news of this 
emperor offering you the most. So the emperor is your new boss. And he offers you the most, or she offers you the most, out of all of both. And so you really are happy with that so far, because that you're looking like victorious here in your decision making. So we'll pull another card. There's a world card. Yep. So that changes a lot of things for you, right? Changes a lot of things for you to expand your happiness and you're definitely excited and you feel nurtured about the offer that was presented see the offer dun, 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 coming in here's the good news saying i'll give you this much money blah 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 right yeah <laughs> don't worry about that it's just tacos talking <laughs> okay here we go let's keep going so that's pretty much the story, my friends. I think you, you definitely go with the new job, the more money, because obviously this, um, you know, this new employment sees you in a uh, more respectable, more creative light than your current slash previous employment that, that was juggling you with somebody else as far as finances. And... This makes the whole bunch of things stable for you in your home life. You become a little more happier. You get to celebrate. Um, you know, it gives you, like I said, a lot more stability at home for your, you know, your finances. So you can buy more things. You know, you can have a little more money to save. Things like that. So. The devil came out. Why are you here? You know, I'm going to have to pull another card for this. This is totally bogus. Yeah, <laughs> I get the four of wands, which is like happy uh, celebration, victory, success, and then the devil pops out. Okay, so let's find out what the beware means. Okay. Because that... That kind of tells me all that glitters is not gold. Between that four of wands and the devil card. Two of swords. Let's put this up here. Two of Swords, all that glitters is not gold, and I think that maybe because there's a blindfold here with that devil, you're not seeing everything with this new proposal from this new boss, this new employment. Sure, they're going to give you this much money, extra more than what you were had now, right? But in the very beginning, you were happy. You you were already stable enough. You're just looking to build a little bit more, get that raise, get more of what you deserve. So I think that the choice that you made was blind. You didn't see everything. There's something that you're not seeing, and all that glitters is not gold, my friend. So let's pull a clarity card on that two of swords. And it's going to leave you stuck. You're going to be... Mm, this decision is going to leave you stuck. Because you're not seeing... And I'm... My Frenchie's going to get in a headlock right about now. You made a blind decision without seeing all the facts. And this decision is going to leave you stuck where you're going to choose to move towards, which is this new employment. I don't like that. Let's pull one more card. Or we'll just take these two cards I dropped. Back to juggling. Tower. So you feel that you'd fumbled this decision you're stuck and now you have to juggle with whatever this new boss 
gives you and that creates a tower meaning okay maybe you know you were on hourly right boom nine to five you're out right you make a certain amount of money then you're like oh i want a raise your boss was giving you a raise so like, okay fine i'm gonna leave and he's like oh whatever whatever and you're like well i have other options and your other options is pitching you know that one more pentacle to get to the ten of pentacles so what happens is you're making this decision because you're staying in truth of what you want for what you're worth and your justice is to move forward in a direction that will be successful and make you happy but there was one clause not everything that glitters is gold because you didn't see everything in this decision making process see because with his two of wands he's got his back toward the other wand in this two of swords oh, these cards in this two of swords you did not see because you had your eyes closed you had your back turned so that means you weren't seeing all the details so now maybe this new boss says i'll put you on a salary and you're like yeah that's going to make my home life very happy and it's going to be great but guess what you might have to put more hours in more than nine to five because your salary something like that this creates a tower for you man this is deep i gotta keep going because <laughs> i'm just being guided to keep going okay Now you're gonna. Now you feel foolish that you 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 quit the other job. Yeah, it's like you're stuck now. It's like you didn't read all the fine print, the little small details at the bottom. You didn't um, really ask all the questions. You just were th focused on the material gain from this new employment it sounds exciting it sounds great it, it definitely what definitely gonna help you financially but the only curve is it's like you gotta you're gonna have to put in more work and you're gonna be stuck with the decision that you make because you juggled the idea of seeing all all the small details you turned your back on some of the details you had your blindfold on because you're just focused about you know getting that getting that pinnacle getting that money and so once the devil pops out here that's the all the glitters is not gold so now you're stuck with this feeling foolish because you put an end to you know whatever that you had previously wow Wow, yeah. That sums it up pretty much all in a little baby nutshell that's about this big, right? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, hey, you know, you're still going to be stable and abundant. And you're gonna, you know, you're going to have enough to provide more than you did so um, in your past employment. But it is going to be more work, more hours. And uh, that's kind of the decision that you're going to have to just accept. So... That's going to be for somebody, everybody, hardly a few people, whatever. But, you know, hey, appreciate your time coming out here, looking at the video, checking my stuff out, <clears throat> dealing with me and my dogs. We appreciate y'all coming out. Hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already. If you're not a Divine Squad member, become part of the Divine family here. We are pretty fantastic and uh Bye bye with the voodoo, oodoo, juju, right? <laughs> Punks. Anyways, with that being said, my friends, enjoy enjoy the rest of your weekend because tomorrow's Manic Monday. So hopefully everything goes well for you tomorrow. <laughs>